I'm a South Korean. I'm born in the South Korea, but also South part of South Korea. My family is very old traditional family. The education is very rigid. And the difficulty of my personal life, I was stick with my paper. And I think the paper was like a kind of the material to live on. And uh, my father has a, a typography company where they make uh, books. At the time, it was not computer. So there was writers to uh, serigraphy. So they, they make a printing and they make a book and they cut it out the machine and all the stripe of paper was playing things because at the time in Korea we are all very poor, poor like 70, 68. So children has very, we, we played with a small stone or either but I was already rich with the paper to play. So with this paper I folding it, I, I didn't burn at the time because there's no reason to burn happy child. So I think that um, when, when even we grown up, we always keep on going with our infant's memory. Hanji paper is here so called it rice paper, but there is nothing to do with rice paper. Hanji paper is made by like all Asian papers uh, uh, by the mulberry tree. And uh, Koreans are very uh, chauvinist, like French. So they wanted to make uh, the name of paper, Hanji means Korean paper, because the Chinese make a paper, Korean make a Japanese. The difference of a Hanji paper is that China and the Japan, they grown up this mulberry tree where it's warm weather. So the pulp of the warm weather is much more weaker. And you put the water, they just uh, can be quickly deteriorated. But as a Korean uh, mulberry tree, they grow in a very cold weather. So this uh, Hanji paper becomes, it's all look like uh, all the same paper, but uh, this Hanji paper has uh, this resistance of the character. And even they made it a shield for the wall because the paper became like uh, easy to make a form. Or we make a window with instead of um, the glass, we use the paper. Because the paper has an amazing power of absorbment of the humidity. So this uh, we, we summer is very hot and we meet the winter is very cold. So this uh, paper is uh, dividing as a door or sliding door. And they because summertime they uh, they absorb a lot of humidity. Winter time they give back the humidity. So the Hanji paper is like, um, as a material, has her own life, as a, they are transform of the veget vegetal things like uh, trees. So it's a kind of, um, the paper itself is a transformation of uh, uh, the vegetal life. And uh, normally when I do calligraphic work or any painting, and as I use the brush, and all other artists, all mainly, is about power of power of the using the way of the the brush. But I always give the most important is like a motherland. Paper decide how much they absorb. Paper decide how how they can have a um, the 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 in the way the if I do my own intention. The end finish is paper decide. So I became very humble with my material I using it. And then even this like, uh, it was looks bad, but dead material, but they really alive very calmly like a mother. And uh, I give always this importance. I have a worship to the paper. And I've done my artistic career for 40 years. I never changed one material. Actually, I want to ask you, I wanted to ask you how and when you became artist. I think artists are born to be an artist. So I think I believe when I'm born, I was already artist. Tell the truth, I understood that I'm an artist when I get to 60 years old. Because before I always thought about, oh, I could do this one, this one, this one. But then now I feel 
I'm born to be an artist finally, but after six years of the spending life and love. Okay, but when you were like a teenager, Oh, you, you took classes of art? Yes, so. yes, because my mom thought about it. I was six years old. I do art competition. I got the prize. And she thought about I'm a talented girl. And she always said, you will be world famous artist. She put the six years old. And then she started to, to teaching me all kinds of things. Kudu, so piano and... Uh, artistic. Cali- yeah, artistic. So you did calligraphy? That's... Basically, yeah, I was the art. Art, yeah, I was yeah. eight years old because in, in Korea, the calligraphy is quite, quite part of art. And then she sent it to me master of the watercolor and she was to learn the music rhythms. So I was really planned by my mama. Ah, yeah. so, but you know, in many biographies, you can see that if the mother is a uh, feeling the son or daughter is an artist and if they push it's very important yeah it happens a lot in biographies yeah <laughs> and um, so maybe you explained already how you make your first black color the uh, ink yeah ink is uh, this ink is black no but this black is not like a watercolor black not ink you writing Basically, this ink is you burn the tree and the smokes goes up and they collect the smokes, it became an ink. So basically, I paint by smokes. So if I paint in like a mountain and the, this is a mountain is so sometimes there are... Uh, the four, black one. Yeah, black one. So with this very thin handy paper, I could, people said with black, you can make 100 degrees of the graduation. I tried, I never achieved it, but, <laughs> but you can see there is a degradation of the, uh, this very mysterious, beautiful black because it's not color, it's the, really like um, the but smoke. How, how do you do ink with the smoke? Because this, okay, so how I explain, they, normally this is the way the Chinese post 2000 years they make it ink, but there was the ink's original was when it's fire comes, the burnt tree, no? It became, you can write in it, the burning tree or this... Uh, like charcoal. Yeah, charcoal was the origin of the thing. So, but then they grind it and it became, with the water, okay, okay. you dilute it. Then okay. It yeah. So it's like charcoal ink. In theory, kind of. Yeah, kind of, because the, we don't do charcoal make like this, but yeah. when you burn it, and the smoke goes off, and the, the smoke is much more clean. You can make a clean degradation. And also, so the, normally there's many, many kinds of the trees used for make ink, but there is a Huang San, some special mountain. There is a pine tree come. This is the most prestigious, uh, this ink, which is uh, like a bluish color. Mm-hmm. And depend on the, some tree, they have a brownish color, but the ink which have a more transparency, it was considered the best color. But also ink work was imperatore when they do calligraphy. It was really uh, important for the letter artist people, quality of ink, quality of ink stone was exchanging okay. to show what kind of art. So it's very traditional. Very t- traditional for the very few cultural people. Bernard, your grandfather did a lot of uh, work on paper, uh, notably etchings, sketchbooks, cuttings, paper cuttings. Uh, what interests you in particular in Minjung art? As you know, she used only paper. She, you work only on paper. Yeah. yeah. Well, I have. I will just uh, state what uh, what uh, great artists and great masters say that that uh, if you take a, a canvas or if you take a clay or if you take paper and a pencil or a paintbrush, there are there are a way to do it. You cannot you cannot uh, go out certain kind of. Uh, of uh, of rules and you f- you are free within the frame of 
what you are using. So this is the technique, this is the talent and the amount of, uh, of, uh, of years you're processing uh, this, uh, this work. And especially, especially uh, 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 paperwork, well, in the, in the European tradition, uh, let's say, it's, it's a process to define and refine volume perspective and then eventually he can he can get into into a canvas but it's uh, uh, and i see one architect uh, here a friend pierrot and maybe other people who are making drawings in their profession yes with with uh, two three lines you can give such a volume such a perspective and uh, and so my my interest in uh, in Minjung it's this kind of uh, uh, sculptural paper drawings which uh, which uh, give a, a different uh, type of emotion somehow related to a certain kind of uh, of Asian tradition uh, but in a very uh, uh, reinterpreted way, very. I would not say it's 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 a modern way. And Min you you you're not doing in a modern way. You're just following what is, in my opinion, the most important in art. It's to not deny or cancel or do whatever, but it's just to to take and grab what is uh, uh, beauty and strength in what does exist and uh, and to make your own uh, your own your own personal uh, personal uh, creation some something like that so so my uh, um, my perception of your work it's a, it's something which give uh, uh, it's like a reading a, a book it's much more difficult with contemporary art. Uh, it's much more difficult with some modern art where people or, or the public, even, even me, we believe we see an image. We don't see an image. We see a writing. We see a calligraphy. We see a thought, an idea, something we have deep, as you say, in the beginning, art to art. You know, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, very, it's very powerful. And uh, yes, one can see on the mountains here, whether they are clouds or mountains, it's difficult to say. This Bernard explained like the perspective and the distance. Uh, of course, uh, your, what you do is not uh, flat. It has uh, some depth and... Yes, so the tell the truth, mountain was not mountain. Yeah. But sometimes <laughs> when you... I have no idea because if I don't paint or something working for 10 days, I get bad mood. And uh, I was in Milano. I didn't do work. I thought of, okay, I go to the south of Italy to inspiring something. So, but then my friend told me, my friend, the camera da Flitto, one noble lady, who owns this house on the cliff of the um, Amalfi Plano. It's uh, near Positano. So I could get the rent for this with one room with a bathroom, I went there. And you go there to inspire something. Nothing you inspire, I just walk around. And then there was um, always the sound of tide was a chuff, chuff, chuff. So I was breathing, I said, oh, this sound, when they started. And you start to go in your journey on to Primo Ordine, Oridian. Nobody knows what it happens, really big bang, what, but then I felt that this sound brings me the world of chaos where there is no definition. But then the then I thought about how could I paint the sounds of the water? And then of course this was tide is coming, they so I thought about then okay, I will paint the tide because the sound is when they come in. So I start to painting like if you turn it, it's like a tide. So like I think the waves. The, yeah, waves. Yeah. So after I painted it, I was looking at, and I saw mountain, and I was so happy because I wanted to paint in the world of cows where is no definition. Good, the sounds of tide became a mountain. So I definitely decide the title <laughs> of mountain, and uh, of course this is like when you 
play piano, you exercise your hand or you play start with Baha invention, whatever. So for me, like um, to make a mountain, as you see, very simple technique, a lot of water, I put drops of the ink or drops of the color. And you paint above and then you wait maybe three, four hours and you, you touch if how they uh, well dry. You make another line. So basically one day, three lines of the painting you do. Meanwhile, I do other work, of course. Mm -hmm. And then, but uh, I should not distract too much because if you put a little bit more ink, it suddenly became a dark. So what I want to degrad degradation of the wave. So how long does it take to do such a, like the blue work? Blue work, one, two, three, four, five, six days. Six days, more or less. But then when I do blue painting, I don't do one because I put two, three papers, two, three mountains. But then each that you make it with a brush, there is no one small. Once done, done, finish, finish, and mistake, mistake, throw away. But uh, <laughs> so I start to do many work because there is no time to think about, which is really good method <laughs> to do. That. The more you think, the more yeah. wrong all the time. So you start like when you feel really, really focused on your mind, you so free yourself, so you go and, and go to next one and I look. And then I don't attach it too much because action has been done, it became my past. Mm -hmm. And then I do it on top again and how many paintings I throw away because then maybe I go out, maybe take a coffee, I come back, ah, I wanted to finish. Then. <laughs> mistake because you know so when I do painting very funny I have a New York apartment it's so dry in the winter time I go November and there I can paint well because it dries it's faster dry and the paper okay. is already well dried so when the absorbment is very clear line mm -hmm. so I paint in New York I bring back and make it here and uh, so mm -hmm. that was the specialty but some the other artwork it's a little bit wet because where I painting was air was more uh, humidity. So paper take it humidity, sometimes it became a crying mountain, sometimes a happy mountain. So <laughs> mountain is always that uh, I'm doing a lot. I think till I die, I will do that because to do my mountain is finally, it makes me so calm. I know at least a few days I should be isolated. And this isolation is the perfectly good nutrient for them. And you, you play with that because I stand up to see because sometimes I don't even remember your technique. I thought maybe it was many layers of thin paper because sometimes you play with perspective like more sculptural yes. work, but in fact it's, it's a technique you say. <laughs> yes. So, no, so no, in your own right. art you have, you have many different tricks and so as a viewer I looked and I said well I should go and see if, if it's different layer of paper, but it's not. Yeah, many people think about, I do a lot of collage, they think I cut it, paper, I put it, but no, the paper is very thin, it's very transparent, it's all about absorbment and the <laughs> quantity of the blue color. And Okay. Yeah. But sometimes you do uh, burn some yes. uh, forms like Cut paper yes, to like do assemblage. This is the burning part. And there was the street series. And it somehow is most popular artwork, the street series. But those things are first I made. Oh, the streets. Color. Yeah, street yeah. series. Like, uh, like uh, um, umbrellas uh, seen from from the top of a building or something. Because yeah. that was I inspired some film was Amantes, maybe you remember. There is a Vietnam, uh, no, no, there was like a Vietnam French young girl was in love with the more older Chinese good looking actor. And then they have a meeting in very old building, third floor. It was really love stories. But one day I was sitting in my place and I suddenly I see this house and I thought about if I'm a lover of this man, first thing I will not hug him. I wanted to see outside of window. <laughs> and then I look at outside window, I saw a lot of umbrellas. <laughs> the street was 
this is imaginary. And then I start to paint with this white umbrella, my imagination. One of the first work was white umbrella round form. Oh. And then to make this one, and the hanji paper, they comes like long, like this form. I cut it, I cut it and I burnt it. I make all umbrella, umbrella by the burned edge white paper. So I make it, ah, it's so nice. It was not paint. And also when you burn this thin paper, you cannot think too much because they burn quickly. So it's all about you keep your breath and don't lose your focus to, to burning. And then after gluing is like a factory girl. Now I'm so fast to, to gluing and I have no, how to say? No, no, the lines. Fingerprint. Yeah, print, oh. imprint, because I did so much, and when I go to America, it's so difficult. They, erased. Does come. they are erased. Yeah, erased. But in fact, you use burning instead of cutting with scissors. First, that... I cut. Ah, okay. And then I burnt the egg. Ah, okay. Yeah. To give a, a burn. Keep the burn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. To give a shape around, yeah, not yeah. the scissors. It was a stripe. Okay. And then as I put like this way, so it's like a, a like umbrella form. But then after I get bored, then I try to make a color and I make it. So make a, some different form, very organic form, like a conchilia or something. The funny thing was, it was, I was inspired by love story. The old ladies go to the bed. I couldn't believe it. this special series. Of course, people would say easily, oh, it's work is decorative, work is easy to understand. It's not about decoration. It's not about the, uh, the work, very uh, happy work. It was just a simple imagine of a love story and this secret uh, meeting. And I just to make it something. And then at that time was already a few years ago. I normally don't like a pink. I never liked it, but that period I start to like to paint the pink. So I was very lonely and always alone. I said, there is somebody waiting for me. Okay, why I like pink? I don't know. Anyway, so I colored a lot of a very different tone of the pink. And then I did this work. What I like in this work is color composition. So that uh, I still could do work. And uh, because I could always make a color composition is good. The fact that it's Asian art, even if for Western people it's extremely attractive, but your art is, uh, has an Asian feeling. Is that something you liked, uh, like meditative uh, aspect of your work? Is that something that interests yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's really, it's really uh, uh, talk to me because, because you, say something about this practice and uh, and this moment you don't think and uh, and I have other friend artists and they they love to they love to to dive in the sea because when they when they go out from the studio they walk with a dog and uh, uh, and I'm talking of that very good friend Miguel Barcelo and so he's going he's going into the sea almost every day in Mallorca because he did it from very young. And so when he dive with his dog swimming, it's like being in doing a painting in his studio. So again, he is, uh, is in something, a, a very special moment. And you, show, you showed us, I remember in, uh, in your studio or apartment in New York, you show us one work you did, and I was very impressed uh, because I cannot stay calm, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm more in a poetic uh, dimension, and so to stay calm, it's just impossible. And you, you show us that work you made during COVID, which is, I don't know, how many thousands of little uh, lines of paper. Can you? And so this is the patience, yeah, yeah, this is the patience uh, artist as to just uh, uh, to just bring yes yeah, then we can feel i, I think as a viewer uh, 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 as a follower and, and as i 
love to 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 watch art. It's really uh, uh, artists are really guiding uh, us somehow. There are other people who can help us. Maybe sometimes the doctor help us to survive something. But but it's very important uh, in our society to have this belief that. Uh, I'm following artists because because it gives me more reason to exist and to be. But that that long work uh, during COVID, you made how many lines of paper? Yeah, Something because crazy. Don't really don't, because you cannot go out. So I said, how can kill the time? So <laughs> <laughs> the killing the time is the because when you do it, the incense incense is burning when they make more red and then finish. But then I start to do just I make a line with the pencil, and I start from up there to, 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 to. Because burning, little it's burning by time. incense. So I have two walls, and then... But they are long, yeah? You mean oh, with the stick of stick incense, of you burn, and you it cuts the paper? No, I never cut it. No. That was just the incense. Doom, doom, okay, doom, okay, okay, okay. Doom, doom. Yeah, so when there is a one, I don't remember any major creator. Said, but it was like, I don't know, 10 meters, uh, very long, yeah, like uh, all the all entrance of your... Yes, yes, yeah. this is very, very long. And this work is, if you see, yeah. first it comes to my mind, this form. And I make maybe here 2,000 or 3,000. Very thin, because as a thin paper can show the transparency. So I cut it out like this. I start to burn because, tell the truth for me. It is burnt? Yeah, burnt it. It's not drawing. And then it burns, and then it's it glued. glued. Yeah. So I... Uh, so it's a collage. Collage, but I start to from here, and I have to tell the truth. Here I did not have that success, but as a B-dimensional artist, I was always about the three-dimensional sculptures. So. This work is one of like this. Some other work, I make it this thing, so it become like a tire work. But this case is like a. In somehow, if you make yourself, it goes in mm -hmm. and this, and then from here I glue it very near, and then I make more larger and larger. If you see this work, this was an additional achievement I never thought about, and this form became. Some, some, some change it, it became oh, yeah, okay. it totally yeah, yeah. changed. It's quite kinetic. Yeah, and yeah. I was so influenced by kinetic art as well. And also, this form is the same form here, but the more you go up hmm. and became a quadra the, like this, yes, and yes. this appeared and into the feet. How long yeah. does it take to do this? So when I burnt it, this is a very thin. I cut maybe four or five paper together, I burn incense. I cannot calculate because when I don't work, I'm nervous, I start to burn it. So I have a lot of material of the burnt it. Okay. The way only makes me calm. I cannot remember how long time it happened. But it's, a it's a very long time. Work. Yeah. And then this is a very thin paper. So this is gluing. And uh, the, I make my own glue with the starch, with the so-called the nipazina, I put it a little bit, to make, um, not to come in the mufa. My sister studied in Florence. She's uh, one of major art conservators. So I study with her about materials. And I make this glue very diluted with water. So basically, this thin paper, I don't put blue behind, because otherwise it could not come like uh, optic clean work. So mm -hmm. the, my paper is the glue uh, recipiente okay. and the paper is floating and then I took with the pincha and the water goes it. I put on that and then with the like... Uh, but they are superposed also. Yeah, superposed yeah. but I have to it's take crazy. it out, um, out the um, the watery and then uh, you cannot uh, stop it a while because if I stop I do it you could have the alone so uh, sometimes when I start again I push I, I spray again whole water because otherwise I could have a, like a watery alone so it's a, so much meticulous work now I yeah. cannot and uh, <laughs> I had a muscle not shaking uh, yeah it's all these backbones <laughs> 
And now I said, who asked me to do that? So I done <laughs> for me. And then, of course, now so many people want to do so because somehow people feel their breathing of the artist. Yeah. It's a, some, uh, my friend, like a very important curator, I hate this kind of your material, you do this. I don't like it. So he's right because this is like a certosino, no? Italian word. <laughs> And the certosino non è forma di arte, but I think when you repeat the same action for the uh, continuing, you you enrich your meditative mind. It's nothing special meditative. You amplify your brain or your mind, which you could be in touch with the real order of the cosmos. I think the. Artists, as you said in the beginning, yeah. they, they can do only their art yeah. because that's what make, keeps them alive. Yes. Otherwise, there is no um, meaning in their life. Yeah. That's what you are explaining. Yeah, because uh, I mean, has uh, such an uh, important gallery and she does work with very, very much young artists. I know that her interest is not for the cell to meet the artist. You visit the artist and I think oh. you meet so many artists. But yeah. now she said, yeah. we are born to be an artist. I, I also work with some that are dead, but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are artists there. Yeah. No, but art survives. And yeah and goes through the centuries. That's the great thing.